Uh, mushrooms, we do uh, work with cultivation of a lot of different types of mushrooms. Uh, that generally came out of my composter's interest. Uh, I'd always done a class on shiitakes and, and uh, oyster production over the years in oak and you know, different woods and things. Uh, but hiring him on, he took on a new love for this, and so as one of the incentives for him was just to you know, build this project out. So this year, he had a big mushroom project, built this room, and humidified it, and started doing, making, sterilizing our own spawn, uh, uh, straw, different things, and, and you know, producing our own cultures and stuff like that. So that's really fun. Uh, we do a lot of plant breeding. This is sort of some of the bulk of the interest for me. We breed uh, all kinds of squashes. We produce on-farm hybrids. We save OPs. We cross and save. We work with Cornell, Madison, uh, Iowa, Washington State, Oregon State, North Carolina, Florida, Louisiana. Uh, all in that, those are just the university breeding programs. Uh, and then with specific growers uh, and uh, seed companies, Bayo and Kansas Avenue and Rice Farm and Johnny's, uh, and board member of Johnny's, uh, those guys I think the best. Uh, so we, we breed squash here. There's some pictures of some of the crosses we made, and we got some really beautiful. This was the past year's picture of that. And from that, we've gotten these F ones that were selected really high sugar content crosses. Uh, we breed peas, we save soy, we save corn, uh, we breed peppers, we breed tomatoes, um, and we breed several different Asian mustards, large winter vegetable mustards. Um, so to switch to some livestock here, there's uh, a lot of things going on on livestock. Uh, one of the things was uh, a project we did for uh, rebreeding a dual purpose for Delaware in particular. So we work with Delaware State. There's a woman who's been focusing on, on heritage breeds for me, uh, Bridget Craig, who's been doing some work there. So we started to do some of our own crosses and selection of roosters and looking for meat birds, males as broilers, uh, not as a broiler, but as a meat bird. Uh, for years, we've produced uh, freedom rangers and Cornish crosses before that, um, there's uh, huge problems with that industry. And even the best small farmer doing the absolute best things ever on your farm you can't get away with them with genetics. Uh, the palate is not prepared for other than that. So it's really, it's going to take a concerted effort for us to shift that. It's not to say that, uh, you know, even at first, my farmers that were working with me were saying, you can start making this choice to go down this road, not just from free range or something. But in the end, we've, I'm not sorry at all. In fact, in the end, we found that we produce these birds that are much better flavor. We have a project, we feel really empowered as a group because it's actually a lot less work to have a bird that can do its own foraging than these little meatballs. <laughs> and, and they just, and they, they don't need any of the ecological service pieces. You can we put freedom rangers and Cornish crosses out on grass, and we raise 5,000 birds a year, bringing a fair amount of animals. And you know, they are not really eating grass at all, they're just standing on it. And so I'm, I can't be fooled by that over time. You know, we can produce a really great broiler chicken, it's delicious, but it's being produced because of the kind of grain we're putting in, in the environment that we have is an input system. Even in the best case scenario, broilers definitely do not forage at all, so they need to have high protein diets. Um, which gets to, for them, the direction we've gone with that, even raising dual purpose birds, they require a lot of rain. So we work with our farmers upstate to uh, actually, we did a great corn research this year throughout a number of different, throughout 20 different non GMO hybrids of corn that were really extraordinary varieties, very high being carried. Very high protein. And these are the corns we can use for our chicken feed. So, our farms that are working in Columbia County will grow out that corn and, and make that match from that. So, um, at least we're keeping.